Hey guys, it's Ryan Flaherty. Uh, wanted to film a short little video. I'm at the track today with my wife and we were just doing a workout and just kind of spurned uh, some of my imagination a little bit to say, hey, why don't we make a quick video to share with people about uh, something related to speed or something I talked about. So one of the things I wanted to cover today is talking about stride length. So super important, probably one of the biggest things I work with a lot of my athletes on and training them is increasing their stride length. Um, the reason is, is because um, you want to you be more efficient, you want to take less steps to get to the finish line. Usain Bolt runs the 100 meter dash in 42 steps, next fastest guy in the world takes 44. He's taking less steps than everybody else, which in turn makes him faster. Yes, other people might have faster stride frequency, but for him and what he does, his frequency and his length are what make him uh, so incredibly fast. And so for everybody to increase their speed, one of the main things we have to do for you to get faster is increase your stride length to the max it can be. Uh, to make you the most efficient you can be. And so one of the ways we do that, in, in, when I talk to, and this is a great um, kind of thing for parents to pay attention to and listen to, because this will help you teach your kids on how to increase their stride length, which will then help them create more force to the ground and get faster. So when you think about the stride length, or I'm sorry, the stride cycle, the leg cycle, um, the first thing that happens is after you put your foot come in contact with the ground, is your leg recovers, it goes through the stride uh, leg cycle, and when it comes back down in contact with the ground, that's the entire leg cycle. And so when you watch people run, their leg cycles make circles, right? And so if you look about when I stop my circle at the, the height right here, you see my quad position is, see where my foot position is? That's the amount, that's how high my, my uh, circle is going to be. That's the, the top of the circle, basically, right? So what we want to try to do is increase your circle size to allow you to have larger strides, which will also allow you to just punch the ground harder. And here's what I mean, and here's why I want you to do that. If you look at two circles side by side, if you look at the small circle, it goes over all the way over one time until it hits your, the logo again. That's how far it goes um, over one time in a circle. This ball, this larger ball, goes over one time, and look how far that ball goes. So you can see a larger circle creates a longer stride, which is something we want to focus on. So I give kids this visual so they get a better understanding of what I'm talking about when I say get your wheels bigger, get your circles bigger. So when, so when kids are running today, if their circle is this big, the goal would be to get their circle to be that big. And one drill I'm going to show you today, Jenna's going to show you actually after we're done filming this little bit, um, is, a, is a drill called butt kicks, knees in front, something I call butt kicks, knees in front, or butt kick, high knees, or whatever it might be. Um, but it's a great drill to work with yourself if you're trying to get faster or with your kids to teach them proper sprint mechanics to get them to understand what we want them to do in their leg cycle in order to make their strides bigger. So if you think about it, if I want to make my circle bigger, I want to get my quad higher, which will bring my foot up as well. So my goal is to get my quad parallel to the ground. The other reason, so not just in making my circle bigger, which makes my stride length bigger, uh, which by getting my quad up, the second thing that that does is it gets my foot further away from the ground. So if you think about it, the closest thing we do to sprinting, in my opinion, is punching. So if I'm trying to, if I'm punching the ground and my foot is this far away from the ground, so my circle is this big, look how high my foot is getting, I'm punching on that, that hard, as opposed to getting my foot this far away from the ground, where I can punch the ground that much harder. It's the same thing as punching. So if I'm punching something from this distance, I'm only going to create as much power as I can from that far away, as opposed to being that far away where I can deliver a lot more power. It's the same thing with my foot. I want to get my foot further away from the ground to create more power, more force, which will then in turn increase my stride length. So bigger circles make longer strides as well as increase the amount of force that you put into the ground. Hey guys, here's my wife, Jenna. She's going to demonstrate the butt kicks for you. So the, the way do that, that, you know, a lot of times it's taught, uh, butt kicks are taught as the bad way. I do not want you to do this way. So Jenna's going to demonstrate the bad way. Just knees down, but kicking your butt back that way. The proper way I want you to do it is getting your quads up and parallel to the ground, kicking the crease of your butt, like where your hamstring and butt and, and glute meet. Ready, go. Just like that. Hey guys, so thanks for watching. So remember, teach your kids or you, if you're trying to get faster too, is about increasing your stride length, it's about getting your quad parallel to the ground, so quad parallel to the ground, um, as well as getting your circle bigger so your stride length increases, okay? So teach them that, show them the ball trick, that helps a lot. Um, thank you so much for, for watching and for all the feedback, it's been awesome. Um, we will have a lot more videos coming to you soon. We're gonna be filming a video series very, very soon, like in the next couple weeks we'll be filming it. So my goal with that is it's gonna be completely free and I'm gonna teach you guys my methodology all the way through from taking a young kid from not knowing how to run at all to, to for a parent to be able to learn how to teach their kid to become um, someone that's one of the fastest kids in their class. And I'm also going to go through the hex bar deadlift work, the strength, the weight room stuff. So all the strength training and all the speed training that um, I do in a video series coming up very soon. So look out for that and I'll be uh, letting you know as that comes along. Um, also, if you have questions or comments, please keep submitting them through uh, Instagram or through the website and we will keep getting back to them as, as best we can. All right, guys, talk to you soon.